there are at least three trends that are going to impact dealer sales in 2015. John Humphrey of J.D. Power says what interest rates, leasing, and new vehicle launches are going to mean next year. Clearly we've been in a, in a very strong period of recovery for the industry and our bullish, uh, we're bullish on the outlook of 2015 and beyond, but there are several trends that we believe we need to keep a, a greater eye on. One is the, uh, the change in Fed policy. As you know, we've been in an era of very low interest rates, which has been a boon to the industry overall. Um, we estimate that that loose monetary policy by the Fed has added about $2,000 per consumer uh, into their pocket, which obviously has helped out the industry as a whole. Um, unfortunately, that has come to an end, as we all know. Um, and if you model out what the impact will be going forward and the, the impact of demand, uh, it will have an impact. In fact, if we model out a 100 basis point increase in interest rates, which is not out of the realm of possibility over the next couple of years, uh, that could take away some 300,000 units in sales, or about $8 billion. So um, we often forget that we've been in this period with very low interest rates. It's been very good for the industry. That was never going to go on forever. In fact, now we're at that point that whether it comes in 2015, midpoint of the year, or, or later in the year, it will come, and it'll have an impact on overall demand. Um, that's the, the first trend that will have an impact on the industry. And again, remember that we are near peak levels of sales, so um, that's a good thing. But some of these trends are going to start to erode and degrade some of that uh, positive momentum going forward. Uh, the, the second one that we're keeping an eye on is the area of leasing. So leasing uh, has been very good for the industry going into this expansion out of the recovery. Uh, leasing is about 25% of all sales uh, that have taken place in the past year. Uh, that's the good news. That and longer term financing um, have helped uh, in terms of creating um, near parity in terms of monthly transaction prices. And when I say near, near parity, that the monthly tra pr transaction prices have not really moved up despite the prices of vehicles have moved up. So psychologically in household budgets and whatnot has been good for overall demand. The issue that we're looking at is, is the, the outcome of that. So we have a lot of new inventory, nearly new inventory coming off a of lease that will go into the secondary market. Um, that's obviously gonna have an impact on trade-in volumes and then at the same time have an impact on new car sales. So if you take that trend I just mentioned with the first one um, and add those up, it could be a little bit more challenging environment than we've had in the past. And then the third one that we really take a look at in terms of things to look out for 2015 is we have a lot of new uh, launches coming in 2014 and 2015. In fact, the cadence in terms of new launches has picked up dramatically. We'll have about 140 new launches or redesigns uh, that will come into market this year and next year. And that was relatively uh, mild compared to the last three years. Uh, in typical environment, that's a good thing, right? New product gets people excited, gets them in a the showroom and the like, um, and that will still have a degree of a positive impact. The, what we see and we're keeping an eye on is with that cadence of product coming in at the same period of time, when you have a, an, increase, an uh, increase in the interest rates and you have the issue with a lot more supply in the used vehicle market, that'll impact new vehicle demand, um, that makes that many launches a little bit more uh, dicey, if you will. Um, any launch is critical, but when you have that many coming through in a period of time when we have a hike in interest rates and you have more vehicles going in the secondary market, all these things in combination are something that we need to keep an eye on as an industry. 